Today we're looking at the mysterious case of the disappearing brake line. Driver reports it binding, mechanic gets to it, absolutely no trace. Sound interesting? Come join me. My name is Vic. I do the Wabco product training for Southern Africa, and this is the five-minute reminder. Practical tips from training to actually keep your wheels rolling. The five-minute reminder is brought to us by Commercial Vehicle Solutions, CVS, formerly known worldwide as Wabco. CVS is a proud division of ZF. Right, this trailer and the disappearing brake line, we've seen this trailer before on a previous episode. Our fault then was diagnosed as most likely to be that shutoff valve, the long stem shutoff valve on, mounted into the mail on the front of the trailer. As you well know, that should be in the rear of the truck or the rear of a front link. But how does that actually cause the fault? Let's go and look at that. At the rear of the truck tractor, we obviously have our male and female, both with long stem and short stem shutoff valves, respectively. But if we look at the color tags, this explains a bit more. The male is the service line, so activated by the foot brake or truck's handbrake. But the female is the emergency line. It is also known as the supply of air into the trailer. So now with that in mind, let's go and have a look at this. We'll need a set of gauges to do the next set of testing. These are available from our service partners, distributors, or of course, directly from ourselves. Our basic trailer, we now connect our gauge onto the test point, measuring the park brake pressure in the rear of the spring brake. Now notice what happens on that gauge when we pressurize the yellow line. Notice how the gauge dropped. What's up with that? It's quite simple actually. As we give the ABS a signal, the ABS draws pressure from the air tank and delivers that pressure to the service brakes. The tank in turn is supposed to draw pressure from the truck, but because of the restriction, because of the two shutoff valves fighting each other, it just draws pressure from the rear of the spring brakes, hence the gauge drops. And the next time it applies brakes, it drops again. Would, any, would a mechanic see this? Not without a gauge, you would not. Now imagine the situation, the driver's driving on the road, he applies his brakes, the pressure does drop, but then gets onto the flat side of the road, continues to drive, and what happens to the pressure? Well, it increases. We know it's going to increase because it, the vehicle left the yard in the morning. So the air is going through just slowly. So this will carry on undiagnosed months, years, who knows, until that one fateful day. We're going down a long mountain pass, a lot of traffic, a lot of brake applications. We have the worst case scenario, frequent brake applications, and our pressure at the rear side of the spring brakes drops steadily with every brake application. Totally undiagnosed, the service brakes are applying and releasing fast as per normal. But just look at the, what happens to the push rod of the spring brake eventually. Service brakes come on, but when we release the service brakes, the spring brakes stay on because the trailer's own park brakes have applied. Would the driver pick it up? Well, probably not, because it would not necessarily be a full application. We've just got low pressure, not no pressure. We've just got low pressure at the rear of the spring brakes. Quite a difference there. So the brakes would start binding, but let's work on a scenario where the driver's alerted, hey guys, there's smoke coming from your brake line. Great. So maybe he pulls over. And while he pulls over, he phones home and waits for the mechanic. Mechanic's driving out there. But over time, we of course know that pressure is able to get through there just slowly. So what happens to our spring brake? Well, the pressure slowly rises and the fault disappears. So that for the mechanic to find this, virtually impossible without a set of gauges. Did you find that helpful? How much more helpful would it be if you sent your team on one of our fully structured courses? We start right at the very basics. Yeah, and we also go through to some fairly advanced material as well. We cover training for trucks, training for trailers, and for the guys that have done our basic courses, we also offer the logical fault finding. Our training is available online. This is our most cost-effective method. It's also quite convenient because there is course dates for Saturdays. But of course, it doesn't quite have that in-person contact 
as in-house training. So from October 2022, hopefully we'll be offering dates for that as well. Our training is part of our extensive fleet support program. So if we can offer you training or fleet support, in fact, if you just want future and past editions of the five minute reminders, please get in touch with me. Here's my contact details. My colleagues and I look forward to being of assistance to you. Thanks and have a great day.